Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. We're on a beach in Hawaii today and we're going to be trying out the uh, cup charger to power some devices down here. Now, if you haven't already heard about the cup charger, let me explain. The cup charger is a thermoelectric generator. It uses the temperature difference between water that you're going to put inside of here as the coolant and the temperature uh, that you're going to expose to from a heat source. Now today we're going to be using the firebox stove and uh, this device is going to be able to generate electricity, output it through this control box to this USB connector. So we're going to be doing several things today. One is to recharge a uh, flip camcorder that's dead and we're also going to charge up our Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, we're going to use that to hop on the web down here on the beach in the middle of nowhere. So a couple more cool things about the cup charger. It's got fold away handles which makes this really compact and it's got a disconnectable cable and then uh, you can coil this up and store it right inside so it makes it very very compact especially when you don't have a lot of space in your backpack on a trip like this. So stay tuned we're gonna fire this up. We're gonna be trying a new product today this is called InstaFire and it's it's uh, intended as a fire starter but it can also be used as a fuel source. Now this is available in pouches like this. It's also available bulk in five gallon buckets. So we're going to try this today with the firebox stove and then we're also going to try it as a heat source in the firebox stove and uh, see if it produces enough heat to be used with the cup charger. Now the firebox stove you can see has holes in the bottom here for aeration. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the ash catcher, which is normally down here. We're going to turn it upside down, and that slides in here. And uh, what that will do is that will block off all those holes, so this uh, small fuel material won't fall through there. Now let me show you what the material looks like. And it looks like this. So it's... it's uh, got very small granules, not incredibly small, but it looks like there are some, uh, some pellets in here, and they say that there are some inert materials in here as well. Uh, so we'll have to look that up and see what that's all about. Okay, so we're going to try about that amount just to see how well this burns. So uh, just a standard lighter, and here we go. Okay. So we're just going to drop that down in here and see if we can get that started. Oh, okay, it did light really quick, actually, didn't it? Okay, well, that's, that's pretty neat. Now that we've uh, discovered that this lights very easily, I'm going to go ahead and pour in the rest of this. And uh, we'll go ahead and use this as a heat source and uh, try it out. We're going to use the cup charger here in a minute. This is an adapter plate that adapts that perfectly to the firebox stove. So I'm going to install that. It's got notches here and it fits in those notches on this side and pops right into position on that side. The cup charger needs water as a coolant, so you're going to want to fill this up within about uh, an inch or two from the top, and then uh, at some point you're going to need to add more water, somewhere around about an hour worth of use. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this on here, and uh, that's about it. I'm going to shut this windscreen on this side just to maintain uh, the heat fairly constant. Now, we're going to be watching these two LEDs. This first light is going to come on when there's 5 volt power available, and the second light's going to come on to show when there's maximum power available. And, and uh, basically, the devices we're going to be charging today are not going to need massive amounts of power. So, you know, by the time this light starts to come on, you're good to go. Plug them in and uh, rock and roll. Well, it looks like uh, this makes a really good fire starter but it doesn't, at least in that small amount, it doesn't produce enough heat for the cup charger to produce electricity. So uh, while this is still going, we're going to go ahead and put some sticks in here and get this fired up. And you can see we still have fire going down here, so it's a perfect time to go ahead and uh, add sticks and get a traditional fire going. 
And that's about it. We're going to make that happen and then uh, we'll be back as soon as there's enough heat for the cup charger. So we've got a traditional fire going now in the firebox stove. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the cup charger on here and start making electricity. All right. We've got our uh, LEDs on. This is very hard to see in the sunlight, but uh, we're ready to go. So we've got a couple of camcorders around here. This one is running really, really low. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And Janet, if you could come here and see if they can see that this has powered on and it is charging. You see that symbol says, shows there that the battery is almost completely dead and it is charging. So. We're going to run this for a while and then we're going to charge some other stuff. So this is one of my favorite beaches of all time. What a great day. <laughs> so here we are, firebox stove, cup charger, Still charging this other flip camcorder. You can see we have output and uh, we're having a great time. So anyway, I wish you were here. I want to show you a new product that we're carrying. This should be on our website in a few days. This is called the Medusa cable. And what it is, is it's a USB to multi-head connector adapter. Now this has uh, 10 different connectors. There are three very, very useful ones. There's uh, this one, which hooks up to a iPad, iPhone, uh, an iPod. And then there's this one, which is a uh, mini USB connector. I've actually got it hooked up to a Wi-Fi, a MiFi hotspot from Verizon. And we're going to hook on the web here in a few minutes. Uh, we're charging this up right now. Then there's also a mini USB. So a mini, a micro, and also the iPhone connector. Now there are a bunch of other connectors on here. Some of these are not very useful in the United States. Uh, there are connectors for Samsung, uh, Sony Ericsson, uh, Motorola. There are also some connectors for other things like uh, PlayStation Portable, if you want to keep the kids busy, uh, and a couple other ones. You can visit our website uh, for a list of what all the connectors are. But the great thing about that is, on this end, it's a standard USB connector, so it can hook up to the cup charger, uh, the pan charger, the pot charger, and uh, with one cable, you, you have many different options. So I've actually got several devices here, uh, all of which can use some of these connectors for charging. So instead of packing a whole bunch of cables, you bring one, which is pretty handy. Well, I'm actually hooked up to the internet right now through our MiFi hotspot, and we're on the epicenter.com's Facebook page. So we're gonna check in. Uh, we're gonna check in from here, from the beach, in Hawaii. 